capture and kill. starting out a lot of videos thinking like really I have to I have to explain this if you want anyone to be take you seriously and take your opinion to heart or consideration yeah maybe you should explain yourself so if you were to find yourself um, in the physical proximity of another person who is advocating for the genocide of millions of people, it is not only okay to physically assault this person, but it's kind of like your moral imperative. Moral imperative doesn't give you legal right to physically assault anyone, especially if that person hasn't physically touched you. Nazis want to kill everyone that isn't them. This isn't like, oh, maybe they have some like opinions we should hear out. They literally advocate for concentration camps where they murder millions of people. This is what they want. Are you they fucking kidding me? They haven't been able me? to do that since the late 1930s and the early 1940s. As far as I know, there is no country in this world that ident that has a group that identifies itself as Nazis that has a Jewish concentration camp. Please, prove to me where. So if there you is. find yourself in a position where you get to punch a Nazi, remember, you don't want to put your thumb in your fingers, you want to have it outside, otherwise you break your thumb. People, that's, that's people like Guinea basically encourage a bunch of young idiots to go out and cause violence, and in the process, they can end up getting hurt, or kill. If you're much shorter than the Nazi, I'm a lot shorter than most Nazis, so um, it actually might be better for me to either kick or punch in the junk, which is just as, if not more, satisfying. And you don't have to go for the face, even though that's a good one, if you can like, you know, whack their nose like up into their brain, that's awesome. It would probably be better for you not to do anything, considering most of the Nazis I've seen are about four times your size. And I'm talking about the women. They will beat the fuck out of you. Uh, you can also jab them in the throat. I mean, there's just so many ways that you could physically stop a Nazi because that's the only way to stop Nazis. No, that's not the only way you can stop Nazis. Don't forget, a long time ago, this country was almost run by Nazis itself. There was a major... Nazi party that was growing in the south and it had a lot of political power. That power ended when people started learning about the tragedies of the Holocaust in America. Real quick, not only that society in general turned on the Nazi party or the American Nazi party, but law enforcement went, you know, all over the country went as far as to shut down chapters of the KKK, shut down chapters of anybody who associated oneself with anything white and national. My grandfather's fought in World War II to defeat these motherfuckers, okay? This isn't some, like, moral quandary we're having, okay? We already decided this. We already figured this out. Nazis bad, destroy Nazis. They're just, they're just bad. They're just, they're not good. With all due respect to your grandfather as a dead veteran, you don't have the right to grandstand over the shit that he did. Doesn't matter that you're biologically related to him. Those were not your actions. And your grandfather was in a war. He was serving his country. If it wasn't the Nazis, if they were called something else, he would have been fighting fighting the something else on behalf of his country. I'm not sure how we got into a fucking reality where there are people that were still alive during World War II and know what happened, and yet now every fucking 30-something liberal is like, should we punch Nazis? I don't know if we should. Hmm, I don't know. Let's think about it while they try to kill us. You know what? Let's stand in an orderly fashion while they people mow like us People like Guinea McQueen have brought to light the reality of the leftists. As a former Democrat and a Latino, I know firsthand that what she's pretty much doing is okay 
amongst them. Only a handful, a few of them, the rational-minded ones, are actually, want, you know, want to have dialogue and discussion. But people like Guinea, who prove it on her video, are quick to dismiss, uh, you know, demoralize and demean these people who are technically on their like side me, of the political You want to help get spectrum. the word out? I did make a t-shirt for you. Never stop punching Nazis. It's always a great message to put out into the world. By the way, you should probably send out a legal paper with each shirt that should say, I don't advocate punching Nazis if you don't want to end up in a fucking lawsuit. Nice of me to tell the you The fact that. that I even have to explain to you that Nazis are bad is like some kind of fucked up shit in and of its own. How did we get here, kids? How did we, how did we get here? How did we get to the point where I have to tell you that it's okay to fight Nazis? When you decided I wanted to lie to everybody so that I can look cool and give everybody really bad at legal advice that can get them arrested, put in jail, if not potentially killed. Well, and that's pretty much the end of the video, aside from a little punch a Nazi dance. <sighs> Jeez. The level of stupidity in some people is fucking flabbergasting sometimes. Now, the only thing I want to say is, you know, or probably answer the question that you might have, is why are you defending Nazis? First off, not fucking... It's not about defending Nazis, and that's what a lot of people aren't seeing. As long as no one has physically touched you, harmed you, know, or harmed you, or committed violence against you, you don't have the legal, even the moral right, or ethical right, to commit an act of violence against this poor excuse of a woman is just trying to get people to go to jail for what the fuck she thinks. I'd like to see her going around punching Nazis in West Hollywood or Hollywood and see how well that goes for her. I bet you she goes to jail in less than 15 minutes. Or, I, no, you know what? I actually, I'm pretty sure most likely she'll end up getting knocked the fuck out. It's going to be unfortunate. <laughs> Some people learn the hard way. Oh, well. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe.